I'll be showing the new Microsoft Teams integration with Brightspace made by desire to learn Now, first off, we're going to assume your IT admin has already set up the core integration behind the scenes, and we have a web page that shows that right here. All the instructions on setting up class teams and the meetings LTI components from your IT admin and how to register that are all on this web page. And so make sure this is gone through first and then all the educators are ready to go. I'm signed into Brightspace as an educator and we're going to assume that my IT admin already set up the teams and Brightspace syncing. So I'm all set here. I've created my different courses and I'm going to drill into engineering 101. Now in the Brightspace UI up top, what I'm going to do is go to content and I'm going to add a class teams LTI component. Now click new unit. So this is my new Brightspace unit. We'll call it mechanics and then save. Now what you'll do is go to add existing right here, click it and then choose external tool activity. And this is to add the LTI tool. Here's the list of LTI tools and my IT admin has already set up the Microsoft classes LTI and this is for Microsoft Teams classes. So I'll click this and now it's adding this Teams class LTI component. So there we go, it's just that easy. And because my IT admin set up the automatic class sync, here is that team that is all ready to go. And I can do things like get notifications if there's activity in the team, we don't have any right now. I can even send a post directly into the team by clicking this little post button. So I'm going to click this to send a welcome message and we'll expand this. Welcome to the class. We'll make it bold. Uh, we make it red and you can do some of those things that you do in teams messages. You can even add little emojis and I'm going to hit send to send off this message. Now I can go directly right here and view the post in teams, but I'm going to close this dialog. Now there's also an open button here. I'll click this button to open up Teams and go directly into the Brightspace engineering team. Now here we are in the team and check it out. Welcome to the class. That's the little message that I just posted. Now because this class is brand new, it has not yet been activated. An instructor has to go and activate it. So as the teacher, I'm going to see this activate at the top. It says two students are waiting to join. Obviously, if you had a much larger class, there'd be a lot more students waiting. But if I just click activate, then students can access it. So we'll click activate here. Okay, my team is now active. Now students can come into this class. We can collaborate and do all the great things that you normally do inside of Teams. And that's directly linked into your Brightspace course. Next up, we'll add the Teams meeting component as an LTI app. So in my mechanics course, we're going to do the same thing as before. We'll go to add existing and then click external tool activity. Now scroll down and you're going to see MS Teams Meetings LTI 1.3. And again, my IT admin has already made this available. We'll click this and automatically it adds a meetings component. So let's say you don't want to use class teams as a standalone, but you do want to bring meetings in for your Brightspace course. And this one already has some things that are set up. But what's nice is you can create new meetings right here in your class and students can come and use that meeting. So I'll click new meeting. And we'll give it a title study group. Now, because this is synced into the entire class, what's really cool is I can click add entire class and there's only a couple students here, but this would automatically add the students in your course directly into this teams meeting. So that's the add entire class. The other option you have, let's say I didn't add my entire class. Let's say I want to make this a channel meeting. We just added channel meeting support for our LTI component right here. You have add channel. So I'll click this. And here are all the different courses and teams. I'm going to put this in my engineering team into the general channel. So this is just going to be a channel meeting that anyone in the class can go at at any time. And we're going to set this to repeat every week. And then we're going to send that out. So there's my channel meeting and that can be joined at any time that happens once a week in this case. And this is just like a channel meeting that you normally have in teams. If I go back to the team at the top here, now you'll see there is a channel meeting that I set up in the general channel. And if I open this up, it's just like a channel meeting that you normally have in teams. Those are the two new LTI components. These are fully rolled out for Brightspace and we hope you try them out. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.